Uh, ladies and gentlemen, our guests uh, today are two global icons. Uh, the first man is someone whose story is really the story of India over the last three decades. Uh, our personal histories are so intertwined with his exploits that it sometimes becomes the only reference point for our lives, where we were, what we were doing when he did something magnificent. Uh, he's a Bharat Ratna, a national treasure, and a god of the game for all times to come. The other, uh, the other is a Caribbean prince who unified the islands with the swish of his blade. He enthralled the world with a hunger for big runs that was unfathomable, uh, completely unprecedented. Uh, he did it with a high backlift and a 360 degree arc uh, that somehow blended brutality with beauty. Through the 90s and the 2000s, and even for us, people of our vintage, the only question was, only debate was, Sachin or Lara? So today, at the Hindustan Times Leadership Summit, we have Sachin and Lara. Big round of applause. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you. OK, so uh, let me start, uh, Sachin, actually, with you. And I want both your thoughts on this. Uh, you know, we've, we've grown up to your two names being taken together so often. Do you remember, do you remember meeting each other for the first time? <coughs> Setting eyes on each other. What what were your first impressions? Mm. The first time I met Brian was in 1990. It was in Toronto, and uh, I'd scored my first Test hundred that time. And just after that, there was an exhibition game in Toronto, West Indies versus the rest of the world, and. Uh, I saw him in the hotel lobby, also later on we met on the field, but in the hotel lobby, the moment I saw him, yeah. we kind of got along well, there was something going on between us, possibly because we both were the youngest players on our respective sides, uh, both are to a certain extent vertically challenged, so it helped my eye line was very much there, <laughs> rather than <laughs> looking at Ambrose, Walsh, Bishop, all these guys, our eye lines were very much there, so I could get out of Brian. Uh, and whenever, you know, uh, we met after that also, Brian would either look out for me or I would look out for him. It's, it's, uh, not the player that he is, but actually the person that he is. And I value that friendship from cricket. Everyone knows what, what, what he's done on the field. But my first impression about Brian was terrific balance. Uh, that uh, agility in the crease, you know, getting to the pitch of the ball and then having such great hands, wrist work, it's a, it's a God's gift. It's great. Brian, what were your thoughts about our man? Yeah, he was. It's, good evening, everyone. Um, Sachin is quite right. I think it was uh, in Canada. We also met in Sharjah and in Australia before the uh, 1992 World Cup. We played a couple of World Series um, in 1990, 1991. And uh, by the time I met Sachin, as he just mentioned, he was already a established Test cricketer, only a teenager, uh, but a very established. I had played one test match uh, through the fact that someone got injured. Viv Richards missed the tour, and I was given a test match. But I was now playing an intense amount of one-day cricket. And um, I was grateful for that because, as Sachin said, we were, I was very small, very fragile, and um, I didn't think of myself as a one-day cricketer. So I had the opportunity now to hone my skills in the one-day game, start batting a little bit quicker, scoring runs, finding the gap. But um, my first impression, uh, of Sachin, and I, I was a student of the game. I, I watched a lot of cricket, I listened to a lot of cricket, I read a lot of books, and I've never seen an Indian batsman right, so accomplished against extreme fast bowlers. Now we know Indian batsmen back in the day were very good players of spin, but we were talking about a teenager and uh, someone who uh, scored runs against the best teams in the world, the best bowling attack in the world, home and away. And I believe uh, from that day, you know, I sort of 
measured myself against Sachin. He was uh, a few miles ahead of me at the time, and I, I really and truly, I know as young players coming up in different uh, countries, playing for our countries, I really wanted to be on par with someone like that. So it was, it was a pleasure to, to get there and to also spend a lot of time with him. Lovely to...